All right, we're gonna open the oldest pack I've ever opened today. It's a 1952 Tops. Let's do it that way. Rack pack, Christmas rack pack. Um, I only open usually about five percent of what I unopened stuff that I buy, but I wanted to treat myself to a really old pack. I've been buying Christmas rack packs from this guy on eBay for probably 10 or 11 years. He's been on there, I think, for about 14 years. He's the only one that I know that sells legitimate Christmas rack packs. I guess the story behind these is his family, through auction, got three um, refrigerator boxes full of these things way back in the 70s. That's a lot. And, uh, yeah. And if you look at your refrigerator, that's a heck of a big box. So, I mean, he's been selling them over the years, but... Um, so I wanted to open up this one in particular, too, because it has a, uh, I'll show it on the, uh, iPads. You can see the, the logo. Oh, thank you. Logo, and then he's got, uh, taped seals. It's, uh, tamper-proof seals. This guy's invested a lot into making these packs and the shipping of them. Everything really nice. I mean, I guess, I thought this was just a shoe box, but this is like a... 200 pound capacity box he never gypsy on postage um, he has a ton of happy customers that uh, he'll glad you give you their contact info for they've actually sent him a bunch of scans of great cards they've gotten out of his packs and gotten graded and these cards are worth hundreds into the thousands of dollars from packs from the packs of his that they've opened and I've had good success opening a few packs. I've saved most of them unopened um, but a lot of people opened up packs from uh, from this guy Dave and uh, here's his uh, so his eBay ID is there those are uh, XRPG and then dashes and then the rest are underscores his uh, old email was that Christmas Rack Packs Yahoo.com but he's kind of upgrading it to uh, he needs more capacity through his uh, Gmail, so he's doing it for, like, uh, kind of expanding his business. He's going to do... This is a graded pack in here. He started grading them so you know that it's one of the legitimate ones. Uh, a lot of people make fake ones of these, especially I've said before in the other videos I've made that anything newer than 1964 is definitely a fake. I mean, right now on eBay, you'll, eBay, you'll see some that are from 73, 75, 77. It's just people making fake packs and ripping off people. Um, with this guy, he's more interested in happy customers and long-term business than making a quick buck. And that's, you know, very similar to like baseball card exchange and, and outfits like that, that really customer service is number one, two, and three for them. So this is one of his graded ones. He's been starting to encapsulate and grade them. And uh, here's the, well, let me see the, so he has these tamper-proof seals. So you can see if somebody's messed with it, it's this void. And so he's going to sit. Don't take that one off yet. Let me yeah. get the. Um, so he has tamper proof seals. And then again, his logo. So this is one of the graded packs. He started grading them on a scale from 0, 0.0 to 10.0. So I guess that makes, what is that, 101 possible grades. And uh, this one I asked him to not seal. He does put acrylic bond. But I told him since I'm opening this, it would take 10 minutes to crack into it. So. I told him I wanted to open it on video, so I asked him to not seal it. So hopefully he remembered to leave it unsealed. Um, the reason why I want to open this one is, uh, well, I only have in my, this again, this is a 52 Tops pack. I only have three 1952 Tops cards in my whole collection. Um, I have a Yogi Berra, I believe, in a two. I have a Monty Irvin in a four, and a Garziola and a five. That's it. That's all my 1952 Tops cards. So I wanted to open these because, I mean, you're getting beautiful condition uh, 1952 Tops cards. Uh, if you were to buy, you know, with these packs he sells, most of the ones I bought from him are 56 through 62. Watch your finger. Um, if you were to buy a wax pack from those years or a cello pack, I mean, you're paying 10 times as much as what um, you can get in these Christmas racks. And you're you're getting beautiful condition cards and you're getting any series too these were apparently um somebody took them from tops all their leftover stock at the end of each year and made these christmas racks out of them so you can get any series and some of those you know 
low series wax packs, let's say from 62, you're paying $1,000. So definitely his are a fraction of the price. This one has a Joe Page showing on front. I wanted to open it to see on the back if it's the error. Um, if it has the Johnny Sane back, I believe it is. So, and of course, trying, of course, for, you know, $100,000 Mickey Mantle or, who you know, tons of other amazing cards, high series. And with this pack, too, the amount I paid for this, basically, even if it's all commons that come between PSA 5, PSA 7, paid for the pack. I mean, it's so worth it. Watch, are you going to cut off your fingers? Be careful. Um, and you want to cut down, not up and towards your fingers. Um, so even if there's a bunch of commons, I mean, they're gorgeous condition looking at the ones... Um, the scans of the uh, front and back of these and so it's worth it even if they're all commons that's what's great about these packs you could just get amazing i mean this pack is almost what is it almost 60 years old almost 70 years old 52 62 72 82 92 oh well forget the math but it's an old pack and you're getting just amazing cards that have been in this pack for you know maybe three four five decades whenever these were put together so um again i'm opening it because let's you know i'm treating myself to See if it's the Johnny Sane error. So we're going to kind of do it in sequence to kind of keep, uh, you know, keep the surprise hidden. I'm going to do that one last. So just to have some fun with this. Um, but, uh, you know, again, the, you know, he, like I said, he never gyps on the postage. I mean, the box is sturdy, but it's easy to get into. And, uh, you know, and, and, and it arrived, I think this arrived in two days. Um, and, you know. You know, what else can you say? I mean, that everything everything's top-notch from this seller. So, um, so let's, uh, why don't you crack it open and let's take a peek in here. Um, and so he is going to do, I guess, mostly his stuff going forward. I bought packs from him in a lot of different, I mean, ungraded before. This first one I bought from him graded. And again, he's doing this to separate himself um, from, you know, kind of like how PSA encapsulates their cards and, you know, graded this, wax packs. This is very sturdy. And, um, you know, it just separates them from the frauds out there. I mean, if you buy just a raw wax pack on eBay, you don't know what you're, what you're really getting. So go ahead and take it out, see where it is in there. And, uh, that's just bubble wrap on top. Oh. But so he's grading these now again to, so, you know, it comes from him and, um, and I had him put a label on it just because he puts up the label on, on all these. So mine's the, uh, snowman collection for several reasons the obvious being there that's our backyard so <laughs> um, so the packaging's all just always his stuff has always come a lot of times he'll give me uh when i bought from him the long sleeves for the rack packs to go into so they're they come fully protected and uh again this is Supposed to be not sealed, so here let me. Oh no, it's stuck. Ah, your sock got stuck there. All right. Baseball cards. It looks like a. Looks like Christmas present here. You wanna get into there? All right. Let me take it out. Thank you. Oh, and he gave me a. So you can kind of see his. Uh, he's really went all out. Here's a magnet, I guess. And, uh, let's see if this is still recording. Good. All right. All the possible grades. I mean, it's just the detail and everything. So I didn't even see what, uh, oh, he's got a cool, uh, you know, again, sealed. And, uh, oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Just like, uh, I forgot which card company did, uh, when they, he uh, puts labels on the ends, so if you have these stacked or something, you can easily see which one. So 1952, he has a serial number. And, uh, an 8.3, I guess, is the grade on this one. So there is, wow, oh my gosh, this is cool. So there's the, good lord, these are gorgeous. So there's the Joe Page. Okay, let's, let's, uh, the laptop gets a crack at this, so I keep using the phone, just in case the phone doesn't work. Um, God, that's gorgeous. So that's the one that, if that has, if it's, they made an error of this one. So if this is the error with this, the different players back on it, 
that's worth like a thousand dollars. Um, so the ones on top and bottom are mostly commons. So this is the his new. I haven't seen his new. Um, oh, there's the label. That's killer. So there's is his grading, his grading scale. So he grades. Let's see. Uh, ah, so he put my he put my, the snowman collection, and then he puts what the key card is. So like I've I've bought packs from him, but like a, I have a '58 All Star Mantle showing on one of mine. I have a '58 Robinson showing on the back of one of ones I bought from him. So uh, so he grades the corners, the hanger, the surface. Oh, so the header. So he grades the header and the that's killer. He grades them separate, so he gives them all. A number grade and then that's I guess how he ended up with his 8.3 as an average yeah that's like the overall grade of it and then uh, Should we keep the sticker oh yeah I mean just open it and then let's get a good look at it. this is awesome dang this is heavy duty and it's a nice case oh cool look at that it's a hologram so he just he's gone all out on these so that's okay let's here hold the phone thank you yes. and that's my hand so there's the hologram here's the grades here's the possible grades all the way from 0, 0.0 to 10.0 and then the back the edge so you can if you have them stacked somewhere <laughs> it is a magnet that's funny and then the uh i mean just the condition is, is that one still recording too uh yes okay good i just don't want these to cut out on me um so there's a, I don't know what else to say. This is, this. these are nice. Look at how nice those are, Brooke. It's awesome. Is this one, um, there's the one possible. Authentic? Is this authentic? Or? Yeah, they're all real. They're all. All signed? No, real? they're not, they're not authentic signed. They just, they're printed on there when they, just yeah, from the that's, factory. Yeah, that's, that's what I meant. Like, are they authentic? No, they're signed? not signed. They're, I mean, these. This a lot of years it was just like stamped on there like a lot of my cards. Could there be an authentic signed one in here? No, not the. They only did that like recently in the last like ten years where you can open a pack oh, and get okay. an autograph out of it. So these are valuable just because they're from 1952 and they're in gorgeous shape. So I guess these are uh, stackable too, with the little indents here. So if I had more of them, I could stack them up. And uh, let's see, what else can we say about these? To, you know, if you're going to get, I mean, there's no, I mean, a, a 1952 pack, a wax pack, even a low series of what is it now, ten, fifteen thousand $15,000 a piece. And I'll tell you, I paid a, you know, a fraction uh, for this. And um, yeah, so that's. Does he only sell these around Christmas time? Or all no, year? they're just called Christmas packs because they were put together, mm. I guess, at Christmas time of all the leftover. Um, okay, good. It's unsealed. Awesome. So normally, I guess this would be sealed. Uh, I guess he says with acrylic bond. And uh, would that be hard to open? Yeah. I mean, it's this is this is heavy duty. That's heavy duty. Dang. Okay. What's this? That's just the the label. I mean the that came with the pack. Oh, that's cool. So, so let's see. We're gonna open these. So the one that's a surprise is this. So we know all these. Yeah, this is this is solid. Um, and again, you know these. This, is the, this is the legit legitimate guy to buy these from. <laughs> If you want a shot at a mantle, here's your here's your shot. So I'm gonna open them upside down because the page is the one we want to try to be surprised by. So we know 
let's see. So we're gonna go from uh, we're gonna go from bottom to top, right? Yeah. And again, he's uh, kind of taking this. You know, we've been buying. You know, all of us people have been buying from this guy. Have just been buying just the regular packs from him. Just they're all. Everything's legit, and now he's kind of taken it another level up to really separate his stuff out by going really high end on the level of like PSA grading of packs to encapsulate. So that's going to be the last stack we open. So we're going to go from bottom to top on that one. This one, I'm going to take the top card, put it on the bottom since we already know that, but we don't know what's in the middle. And it's in the middle that we could be getting a. Mantle, a Jackie Robinson, a Willie Mays. So I'm taking, and it's a light back. So this one that was on the front, I think these are, because you see there's gray backs. So I'll have to look that up, but I think that's a, uh, some of these with the different color backs are more valuable. Don't move that. I want to be surprised. I want to wreck the surprise yet. See what's in here. Oops, that's okay. That's all right. I was just comparing. Oh, okay. Um, Intensely oh. opening the packs. Let's see. Um, I keep forgetting to show oh. the. Uh, so that's the light back there on this one compared to. Uh, compared to. Uh, um, just the regular backs. So the different kind. I think there's also black backs, which are, which are rare, rare too. Yeah, I think so. I'm not too sure. I mean, like I said, I only have three of these 1952s in my whole collection, and uh, so I'm not very familiar. The line. Yeah, sorry. Put well. He didn't fill who it was to. <laughs> I think if you put writing on it, it would hurt the grade, so. Mm. All right, so. Please, that's one of the cards then. No, that's just. All right, so here we go in order. So we're going to take the top card, which we already know, and go bottom to top and see what we. Is this one that we already know? Yeah, these are the top two here we already know, and this one we already know, and we don't know if that's the error. So let's start okay. with. Well, let's start with this one since I did accidentally see some of the others in here. So, we know this one. That is just gorgeous. Here, I'm going to put it in the sleeve and then you can, you can hold it. Bop, bop, bop. That is just gorgeous. I mean, we're looking at... I don't know. That's an easy seven. Yeah, that's not even exaggerating. I mean, could even go seven and a half send it to PSA because of the centering. It's a card 159. We have Saul Rogovin. Okay. And then this is one on the bottom that we, so that was the top card. It's one on the bottom. Carl Scheib. Card number 116. Beautiful card again. Not quite as nice as that one, but nice card. And the two mystery ones that we did not know that were in the middle are uh, Drick Krahowski and Ray Coleman. He looks very intense. That yeah. one. That I know. One. Look at that. That's those eyes. That's crazy. All right, look at these. Are these painted or are they actually taken? Um, I think they did basically artwork off of a picture. That's what they did for, um, I was gonna say you know, they look, like... I can't tell, they look more picture than, I know 1953s are painted or artist renditions of actual pictures. Some of them look like humans, but then some of them look like, I mean, they all look like humans, but some of them look, um. <laughs> okay, don't knock these, these are the surprise ones. Okay, so that one is the, uh, that's card 149. 
This is card 211. Boy, you know, if this is 311, I believe that's the Mickey Mantle number, 311. But this is 211. Yeah. Man. Mm. <laughs> this close. This close. Gorgeous. Amazing condition. All right, that so. That smile. Yeah, so here we know the. This was the top one, Adele Ennis. Card number 223. Yeah, even the high numbers in like, you know, a low grade are worth 100, 150, 200 dollars. So, because they were made fewer of those. So here you can. Is that one still recording too? Okay, uh, good. Yes. All right. Matt Bats. These are just stunning. These are just incredible. Just incredible. Very pleased. Matt Bats, number 230. Is that close to Mickey Mantle still? Now he's a, you get in the 300s. What was he? he was, 311. Oh, 311. Yeah. And oh, then, I love their logo. It's a tiger. It's beautiful. And we have Connie Ryan and Billy Goodman. That's a cool shot. That is a cool shot. These are nice. These this are, one has nice color. Yeah. And it's sharp, it's centered. This one this side is a bit. Yeah, just a bit, but still these are these are at least fives and sixes. Some of these that have the sharper corners. But they're close to sevens. So here we have Connie Ryan, number one oh seven. And then we have Billy Goodman. Oh, yeah, the backs. Card number 23. Gosh, that's incredible. The backs of the other ones. All right, so now here we go through the, to see if we have an error back. So this one we knew, and no, we didn't. This one we knew. Okay, so we got another white back, which is cool, or light back. I don't know what they call them. In 56s, I think they called them gray back and white back, but 52s, I don't know. Uh, so this one was the one on the bottom of that last cell, George Sternweiss, number 217. And here's the uh, Billy Goodman one that I didn't show yet. Um. All right, we're getting close. No, it's not. Um, no, it's not, I haven't gotten to it. I just, on me- We're moving it slowly. Yeah, like no, I just, uh, that's another nice card. This is a. What's this dot on the card right here? I think it's just a. Either he has a mole or it's a printing defect. <laughs> so with older cards, they just you know they they don't they didn't make them as as perfectly. That's why higher grade cards like these are. Think of somebody who opened this when they were a kid. They're probably you know that kid is probably not even around anymore. And think of all the handling. That's why getting them out of packs like this. Is it still on? Yeah, okay. is the way to go. So this is 155, Frank Overmeyer. Oh yeah, there is still one more under. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I was going to do this the secret way. So with the with the card to hide what it really is. What it really is. The surprise, the surprise. Forgot to do that with these. I'm just so excited to tear into these. Gosh, another nice one. Bruce Edwards of the Cubs. These are just... What could be under there? I'm, I probably just submit all these at PSA. I mean, they're all, like I said, at least five, sixes, sevens. Card 224, Bruce Edwards. This is just stunning. I mean, because so if you think of a kid who opened these 60 years ago, 70 years ago, all the handling they've had during the years. Now, when you get them out of packs like this, look at this. Look at the condition of these. They're, look at these. They're really good, especially look this at, one with um, all the color. Like, yeah, well, and then the, the first couple, too. I mean, these are just... I mean, they are pack fresh from 1952. Here, you're getting a dozen cards from 1952 in just, just stunning. This is just, this is just, just unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right. So if this Johnny Sand on the back, it's the error. It is? Not an error. Page. That's okay. It's still a nice card. Oh wait, so they um accident They accidentally put Johnny Sane's back. 
Because oh, when they matched I up the he, sheets. I thought you meant like it had a picture of him on both. Oh, no. It's, um, so they put Johnny Sane's statistics mm -hmm. on the back. Instead of white. This is a different, uh, this is a black back. That's a black back. Remember I was saying black back? Because look at these. So these are all. White. That one is white. Wh white and gray. And then gray. And then, but this one has like a black layer. Yeah, so. it's black back. So that's, that's. So that's super rare? I don't know how rare. I'll have to look it up. So it's rare anyway. Yeah. So I think, so the black backs I think are desirable. So here's the, uh. Here's the Joe Page, so it's not the error with the Johnny Sane back, but, and I gotta look look it up on eBay and see, um, but it's a black back, card 48. So like I said, I'm not familiar with 52s. Of course, you know, I've never opened a pack of 52s. I only have three in my collection total. And uh, so we have, we ended up with, uh, so we'll run through, I'll run through them in order. So it was not the error. We'll run through, I'll separate out the different backs, and then we'll look up on eBay later. All right, so we ended up with a gorgeous Joe Page black back, card number 48. Whoops, that's why I put them in plastic, because I'm clumsy. Black back. And we had three white backs or light backs. Rogovin, Krajowski, and Overmeyer. Light backs. 149, 55, and 159. So if you get all the numbers in the set, do you basically complete the set? Yeah, it's like a half million dollar set if we had the whole set of these because of the. Mickey Mantle and all the other. Oh, yeah. So that's a set I will never, never own in my life. And then we have the Bruce Edwards. These are all the black, uh, regular regular backs. Gray back, red back, whatever you want to call them. Bruce Edwards, George Sternweiss, Billy Goodman, Connie Ryan, Carl Scheib, Ray Coleman, Matt Batts, Del Ennis. Again, for this view... So we got the, there's Ennis, just stunning box, stunning pack holder, stunning cards. Good job, Rack Pack. His name's Dave, I think. Dave. Dave. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> good job, Dave. Good job. And also, thank you for the bubble wrap. <laughs> What do you need bubble wrap for? I don't know, I'm just joking. <laughs> God, I like the. I, I'm gonna put one of my other packs of protect in this thing, and one of my like my. Uh, I have one with a couple of them with the bowl, with the one with the mantle. Put it in here, but yeah, it's pretty incredible. So where was the? Uh, this was the bag. That yeah, and this was in. the. This is the neat thing that you know, like this something upper deck started back in '89 of putting holograms. So you know, I mean, this is. What went into this? He's taken his uh, full pack thing into another level. So this is the guy you want to buy from if you want to. And like I said, I've gotten good cards in these packs I've opened. And also, he'll list specific packs with a star showing on the front and back. And those are worth it because you crack them open and they come out like this. And you send them to get graded and you get a late 50s, early 60s star in a 7 or an 8. You're into, you know, 3 and 4 figures as far as value so no mantle but i am just they're amazing just cards. just just floored yeah these are gorgeous yeah. these are just this was fun as heck peace got goodbye goodbye all right tonight this is a add-on video to the one i did a few days ago opening a legitimate 1952 tops Christmas rack pack and I said how legitimate uh, the guys packs are uh, from Christmas rack pack grading uh, XRPG pro at gmail.com I believe is his email and I actually uh, <laughs> understated just how legitimate his stuff is because so I'm 
I consider myself very familiar with baseball cards. Um, but then getting back into the 1952 tops and things, I mean, I know about them. I've read articles on them and, you know, the legendary set that it is. And this is the Joe Page that I pulled from that pack. And you can look back on the video and pause it on a couple of spots where I held up the back and my daughter held up the back. And you could see that even though I thought the error was the whole Johnny Sane back. So as soon as I revealed this out of the pack, I looked up here and saw, oh, Joe Page, it's, it's not the error. But it is Johnny and John. So you can see, you can look back on the first video and see um, this is that exact card that I pulled. And again, like I said, I held it up without realizing. I was just looking at the top. But if you pause that first video and see, this is that exact card. It was indeed the error pulled out of a pack from Christmas Rack Pack grading. Um, the Really the only legitimate seller I have ever found of these old Christmas Rack Packs. And this proves it even more when I said that his stuff's legitimate, untampered, genuine. It's even more than I stated because I did get the error. The Joe Page that was showing on front is the error. So that's incredible because it says a couple of things. Those packs everybody thinks was put together from Topps Excess <coughs> at the end of the year. But they somehow included stuff throughout the year because this was from an early print run. This was not left over at the end of the year. So because they corrected it. All the later packs later uh, produced later had the corrected version. So not only is it the error, it's also a black pack. And this is gonna go to PSA and I'm pretty good at guessing what grades things get. I'm usually either dead on or just maybe a half or one grade off. I'm thinking this is a six. Um, in a six, it's you know in the thousands, especially being the error and a black back. If it gets a seven, then then we're talking close to the three to five thousand dollar range. So these are the kind of cards that it, you can get any card, any series, any variation, and this guy's Christmas racks. And it's just so I, I wanted to do a uh, addendum video to correct my mistake because even though I said how great his packs are, I actually understated that they're even beyond what I said as far as legitimate and the ability to get truly any card in his packs. And this just blew me away when I took a second look and and then did a little research on eBay. I was re researching the black back to see how rare it was. And then I was looking at the error side by side with the <laughs> corrected version and realized, holy smokes, I got the error. So this now is one of the most valuable cards in my collection. And it's just, I'm just ecstatic and blown away. And we'll be buying a lot more of these Christmas rack packs uh, from this seller.